Hello, everybody. Be right back at you. One more game, y'all. And, uh, coming on in here and when Brian is dying back and kind of pick up where we kind of left off this last time. Now, we're dealing with it. On that land, let's see we did. We dealt with the, what we call the Dunlap drum. Or the gentrification. Now, you know, you're right putting down over here. We about two hours of stuff. We got like ten videos on it. Over two hours. It's about 15 minutes of four. And uh, we thought we were going to be able to count on Kinda of like leave that thing alone a little bit, but you know, sing a song in the church, and that song just simply said, "It said you got to move, you got to move." Come when the Lord get ready, you got to move. And so do I kind of want to, you know, thought he had, you know. I don't know what you did, he put a lot of information, a lot of valuable information in it, some of this silly, you know, some of uh, stepping on some toes, but you know what time it is, the Bible that you're supposed to expose them, you know, uh, that's only what the uh, common people will make a change, and uh, stop being made slaves, uh, economic slaves, mental slaves, housing slaves. And kind of the only way you, you know, you kind of get to wake these people up. You know, you got to have some crazy folks like do right. You know, who kind of willing to put their neck out on the line and uh, say the thing that need to kind of be saved. Need your feeling. So. You know, in that last little bit of serious thing, you know, the gentrification, the Dunlap drama, we refer to it as. In that last little bit, we all, we all, we dealt with a lot of things on it and we know, we kind of went in hard a little bit on something now, you know, called, you know, we kind of call like, we call like these, these little sell out there preachers and politicians and so called business class of folks among us who sell us out. So they can be like kings over us. So everybody looking at them as them made it cause, you know, they got paper. They got what you think is money. You know, they got them piece of paper with them dead white men in the middle. You know, and they seem like they always get the good jobs and you know, whatever, you know, and, and we ain't gotta go deep in that little bit cause you know, that little bit already put out there. But, do right had a vision from the law. And uh, he was trying to get some sleep. Because he had been up all that day and it was about 2.30 that morning. And, you know, he just got through, you know, chopping down all the videos, you know, and adding a little stuff in like he do. And, you know, had, you know. It was like 10 videos and then he got about six or seven parts up now. You know, he's still working on, you know, getting the rest of it out there. But he wanted to sleep and he was laying down. 
and the law came and got in the bed with the ground. And he shook me on the shoulder. He said, do right. I said, what, Lord? He said, I need you to go back in there. And uh, I need you to cut that laptop of yours back on. Because I got something I want to show. And I was like, well, why not, Lord? Can't you just wait a few more hours and let a nigga boy sleep? You need to have me up working and talking and looking like a fool. And just let me get a few hours worth of just a little shit, huh? And let me look at the back of my eyelids for a little bit. But he said, no, do right, you get your little ugly black ass up. And uh, you go in there and cut that damn laptop on like I told you. And I said, thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord. Whatever you need me to do. So anyway, do right been a good steward because he want to hear him say, well done. My good and faithful servant. And he got up and the law showed him some more information. On that gentrification thing. And uh, then the law said, Do right, I know you're sleeping, but I need for you to go and uh, get your little black book with all your freaks in it. You know, a little black book, so y'all call it a Bible. It's a Book of freaks, yeah, do right, go do right, dial up a freak when he need to get his learning and his everything on it. He called up a freak. So the law told do right to go on and open up that book of the freak because he had something he wanted to show. So do right. And no, uh, so no, do right did as the law. Had instructed to do right to do. But it was some stuff that was shown to do right that uh, kind of like, ain't no kind of like, it did like. Or uh, be put out there to bring some edification for the people to give some credence or some credentials to some of the things that do right said in the land of Paul. So the thing that he be saying will be valid. And then, these Negroes called preachers and imams and apostles and prophets and bishops and priests, while they tell you stuff about this book of free, it been put on the do right to show you some stuff that they keep hearing from you. And so we had to give them a little day book. And if we give them day book, we can shut their damn mind. But, now it says, we in the book of the Michael, M-I-C-A-H, M-I-C-A-H, Michael. I read now how to make all, which way you want to pronounce it. I mean, which way going to make you feel good, because you feel like you can call them words white folk don't taught you. And you know how to play the A, the O, the E, the U, or the other sometime Y game. Because you like to be making bow. In a hat. Talking about these. See, then you're going to see now. You're going to see why they don't give you no old testament. And uh, till they want some money from you. But if you're willing, we might be able to get down a little bit of debt today. Crank but one more book, buy a couple more books sober. 
that they like to use this passage time out when you rob the guard and the tithe and offer but they'll never show you who they were talking to so if you're willing now then you know, to do right might be able to bring the edification on that part so we can shut their mouth on that little part but anyhow in the book of Michael in the third degree in the fifth school now this time I'm thinking, you know, that's that, that Michael chapter 3, verse 5, y'all dumb, sophisticated, 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 that's the word y'all sophisticated at, folks. Now it said, thus said, the law concerning the prophets that make my people earth. Hold on now. So the law said he prophets making the people to earth. Now that earth part means to go astray. Do wrong. Not do what thus said the law. Because they done got some songs out there and they done told you it's your thing. Do what you want to do. Now, I can't tell you who you be sucking to. But is there not a prophet that make my people earth? That bite with their teeth and cry peace. And he that put it not into their mouth, he even prepared war against them. Now, see. See how them Negroes do you? If you don't bring no money over there and uh, put it into their mouth, then they prepare war with you with their words. Now, not no physical war, but they attack you. They tell you, you ain't faithful. You going to hell because the God said you're supposed to bring your temple sent over here to me. Because you robbing God because you ain't bringing that temple sent over here to me. So then I bite with my teeth. Meaning, I talk out against you. I try to make you look foolish. And I tell the people, you ain't no good. You're a sinner. You going to hell because you ain't putting no money in the plate. You ain't coming over here every third and fourth Sunday. I mean third and the first Sunday. And then coming to my other church on the fourth and the second Sunday. And you ain't coming to my past anniversary. You ain't putting in the pastor aid. Hey, you ain't getting no money. So see, when you don't put in their mouth, you need someone to talk to. Then y'all see that why they want y'all read the old text. Cause you'll see that ass. And you'll see the fraud. Cause I'm giving up all the things that they couldn't stand. I'm giving it up. Then they pull on you. Cause many of y'all out there that have preacher tell y'all the same thing. You ain't put no money in the plate. And then you give good money to them and put it to their mouth. They get up, you know, on the Sunday and the Saturday.